So about two years ago, we were handed this <coughs> gift from our alumni, and it was came in the form of a, um, a photo. The first one came in uh, as a, a photo of um, a soldier in Afghanistan with three Afghani kids standing next to him doing OH. Uh, uh, <laughs> we just participated in social media. Um, and I think that this is such a gift that when we saw that photo, it kind of light bulb went off in my office that we have to create some kind of way of honoring this feeling about the university and also tying it to the significance of getting a degree from a higher education institution. Um, we're sort of centering it in all the great things that our alums and our students and our faculty do. And it's not just about Go Bucks, Saturday tailgating kind of thing, but that it's way more diverse than that. And so we just started listening and we built a tool that collects, automatically collects these things for, for people who want to submit them. Um, and it just went like gangbusters. I mean, people, we get, you know, seven, eight a day, sometimes 20 a day. On Saturday, we you know, day after a game, we get a ton. Mm -hmm. Um, from all over the world, every single continent is represented. Um, you know, the diversity is just <laughs> tremendous uh, of people of all walks of life, age. Uh, get little kids who are obviously planning on coming to Ohio State as uh, Buckeyes someday. So um, that was the gift. And what we did with it next was um, to convince. We're, I, I report through marketing at the university, so. We're a new media shop. There's um, a video guy, um, a web editor who's got a print journalism background, and two graphic designers who are self-taught PHP developers, and myself, who's a self-taught PHP developer and my SQL guy. Um, and so we, uh, we took this opportunity to convince our administration to do um, focus the next public service announcement, which is another really big thing that we get to do. We produce the broadcast 30 second spot that runs during men's uh, football games and men's basketball games on ABC, ESPN, and now the Big Ten Network. And so uh, we convinced them that the, uh, just a collection of these photos with a, with a nice uh, voiceover would be a really not another way to honor these folks. And then we also sent everyone whose photo we used in the PSA an email message thanking them for the photo, um, which I thought was a nice kind of way to, to give back. One thing we're not doing here, which I, I heard a lot of people saying is important to them, is that two-way conversation in the sense that we're, they're talking to us and we're, we're sort of reflecting back what they're saying, but other than uploading a photo that you know, meets some of the criteria, we're really not engaging in, in social media at that level. And there's a bunch of reasons why not, and um, I can get into that in just a minute. I, I don't know if you guys have seen the, the PSA or not, and whether or not you'd be interested in seeing it. It's 30 seconds. So. <laughs> and a poster came out recently with yeah, all Yeah, so that was the next thing we did. We decided to do a bunch of swag, too. Um, <laughs> we did uh, jump drives. Uh, we did posters. We did um, light pole banners uh, around the stadium. Um, all sorts of stuff. But so the PSA, and which is featured on the front door right now, and this is uh, a new design that we worked on for the past year um, that just launched. Pretty much the same time. What's the URL? OSU.edu. Okay. I like your new front page yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's I very just... visually stimulating. Thanks. How many total photos have you received? Uh, I can tell you in a second with a counter. Really? Awesome. I must be on the cheap ones. Profit library. It started out as a simple football cheer. Today, it has become more, much more. A bond between students, teachers, and alumni. A proud union that makes the world a better place through research and service.
campus and around the world. It's an expression of community for Buckeyes everywhere. So it didn't stop there. Um, you know, we went on to make sure that our alumni association had the ability to post some a bunch of these photos, and they they got access to it. We do a uh, once a month email message to uh, all alums. It goes out to over two hundred thousand people, which has a twenty five percent open rate. Um, that always has a OHIO link in it, which links back to the website. Um, we uh, obviously produced that PSA. Uh, we have a Facebook account, a uh, Facebook page. Um, once they actually turned profiles into pages, we decided it was time to get in, in the game. We didn't want to really do it when it was a profile because we didn't want to connect it to any one person. But now that it's a page, we're participating there. We have like 11,000 uh, fans. They call them fans at that level, not friends. Um, but obviously, we're posting all this stuff to Facebook. We're posting all this stuff to YouTube. We're not participating in a bunch of the other social medias just because of... Um, conversations with legal affairs that I've had. Um, and, and to some of you who are at the university, you can inadvertently create an open space like the Oval on the web. And the expectation becomes that my First Amendment rights will be um, respected there. And uh, that's not the case all the time for the university. Um, that we don't, that's not always what, we want, what we're trying to do is create a space like the Oval everywhere we go. Um, so we're not participating in, in certain things because of that. Uh, so they, they don't make the, the call, the, you know, the President's office and the, and the you know, provost really make the call, but Legal Affairs gives us good advice and tells us you know, how they think we should move forward. So that's kind of how we make our judgment on, on how to participate in a lot of these uh, spaces. Um, we have a little section on just about every featurey type page we do now that has uh, social media opportunities. We're featuring YouTube, Facebook, Ohio State on Wikipedia, which we don't control, um, but we're linking to it anyway. Uh, we're linking to a Flickr group. We don't control that either. It's off-site. Um, that, that was just organically created. And uh, Ohio State on Delicious, we uh, are, I guess, did they, they recently changed their URL? Mm -hmm. um, we are encouraging some of our media relations folks to uh, interact in that space so that uh, press or other people might be interested in what it is that they're reading or what they're finding interesting that day. And then um, we also have the opportunity to, uh, we have a Facebook application um, that we built that displays the latest OHIO photo that you put on your Facebook account. Oh, it's somewhere on there. So the Facebook thing is really just making, uh, taking the opportunity of, I think it's Magpie RSS, which just really grabs all of our feeds. Everything that you see is coming out of the MySQL database. Um, so then it's really easy to snap it into an RSS feed, which then automatically gets fed to the Facebook page. So really, we're not, we turn commenting off, we turn the wall feature off. It's pretty bare bones. It's kind of our attitude about Facebook is our alums and our current students and some of our faculty and a bunch of our staff are here and we should be here too, but we're not yet ready to be participating in we are the, the space on Facebook where we want you to come and interact. That we want you to know there's a presence and that uh, we want you to be a fan. We want you to consume some information here, but we're not ready to make that leap um, for a bunch of reasons. Mm -hmm. But so, let's go ahead. Take to make that leap. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, I, I think that uh, it's based on, the decision is kind of based on benefit, cost-benefit analysis, really. And I don't think that the benefit to opening up the wall for Facebook will benefit us so much as it will cost us if, if it doesn't you know, pan out the way the administration wants. The worst thing that could happen at this point is for them, for the administration to say, you know what, it's just not the worth the risk anymore, you're shutting it down. And I don't want that to happen. So I'd rather participate in the space in a responsible way at this point, um, where I know at least, you know, and, what, 11,000 some people have thought, 11,163 people have thought that it was cool enough to, mm -hmm. to become a fan of the page, so we're doing something right. Um, and I don't think that, you know, it's still social media. 